All right, guys, we're back in the dragon's lair, <laughs> as we've dubbed it, uh, with a set of cams that Brian Crowler sent me. Um, these are our 272s, which are the exact cam that are in the dragon wagon. Um, and we're gonna kinda open the box, show you what to expect when you get a set of cams, and uh, maybe even get into why certain cams are called certain things and, and go on with that. All right, so, so we're gonna open this box and uh, kind of go through what Brian Crowler sends when they send out cams. Um, first you get your cam cards um, and um, some other bits. Um, there should be a bag um, in there to plug the AVCS up in case you want to run a non-AVCS setup. Uh, we're just gonna open one of these. I don't see, let's open an intake though. I see a reason to mess up all their packaging. Now be careful when you open these because your blade can damage the camera. So don't do that. Bringing back memories, man. All right. So everything you buy machine-wise should be kind of cased in oil, and especially cams. So here we are. Here's our intake cam uh, for our EJ25. This is a single AVCS uh, cam. If you have dual AVCS, you'll have to order the dual AVCS setup. Um, so you can see, it's, uh, this is a 272, uh, which basically means that there's 272 degrees of uh, cam lift um, based on 360 degrees. And you'll see up front, uh, you've got four holes, and this is for your AVCS system and the oil gets pumped in um, through through this area with, with your oil control valve right here uh, and then into your um, cam sprocket to uh, retard or advance uh, timing uh, which we know all about and um, so next thing you're going to look at here on the cam is you'll get a cam card and this basically tells you all about your cam tells you what the lift is, uh, your actual cam lift, um, and then how much uh, load separation there is, and it should tell you overlap based on this picture. You can um, figure that out. Um, also, very important on here, it will tell you, uh, reading right here, valve clearance. So when you build these, they're not, you don't clear your valve uh, to spec. Um, on the intake side, it says 0.008 inches and 0.010 on the exhaust side so um, you want to make sure whoever's putting your heads together whether it's you or some other guy that he has this card and this information because um, he's got to lash your valves and if, if they're off that, that can cause issues so uh, what we're going to look at is overlap why would you want overlap um, which is basically when your exhaust valves and your intake valves are open simultaneously. And what that's supposed to do is that's supposed to kind of help scavenge the air, um, leaving the exhaust and help pull in fresh air, uh, like with suction, instead of it having to ram, uh, like in a turbo car, so you're having to ram air into the cylinder with a closed exhaust valve, it kind of helps to um, pull in some of the fresh air um, that you need for your next combustion cycle. Um, then also, you hear like, hey, what size cams do you have? 272s, 280s, 282s. Um, basically, that doesn't tell you a whole lot about the cam um, because the lift uh, is also a big deal. Um, I heard a great description of it. It's uh, the duration, which on these is 272s, is how long you have the door open to let air in. Um, the lift is how big you open the door. So the more lift you have, like you can have two sets of 272s, um, but one will perform a lot better than the other one based on how much lift there is um, as well as duration. And so um, I chose these. They're not the most aggressive cam um, out there. But I chose these because they're still pretty streetable. Um, you're not completely sacrificing your low-end power band. Um, the car sees a lot of time on the street, 
and driving around place to place and I didn't want to just have absolutely no power. It's already bad enough with a large turbo. So um, I didn't want to just compound it. And so far these have performed really well. We, we uh, when we were on the dyno, the car wasn't running out of airflow. Um, and that was only at like 30 PSI or whatever, 32, whatever they went up to. Um, we'll see when we add some more power if these start to become a limiting factor or not. But for now, um, they, they work well, they flow well. Uh, but these are also paired with the plus one millimeter valves in the car, so that, that also helps. Um, so hopefully that tells you a little bit about the Brian Crowler cams. Um, there's some other good brands of cams out there, uh, but Brian Crowler is my sponsor, so you got to show them some love. Um, and also, uh, I'm, I guess my suggestion is just do some research. Um, you'll hear for Subarus, Kelford is a big one. Um, it gets thrown out there. A lot of guys like those as well. Um, but I, I've really enjoyed these so far. And we'll probably continue to use Brian Crowler. Um, I will say, much larger than 272, you have to kind of mill out the head. And um, we'll show you that here in a second. So we mentioned earlier, like two eight, some cams that are 282s, uh, a little bit larger. You're going to need to have some machining to your head done. As you can see, these are 272s, um, and this is where the bucket would sit. Um, this is just a spare set of heads I have lying around the garage. But um, you'd have to mill out some here, and then I believe on the other side head, you have to kind of mill out some of this um, jacket. I've never done it, um, but it's just something to consider. Um, these are a straight swap, the 272s. Um, they're real easy to just put right in uh, and, and go, but much larger and you have to start actually uh, doing some machine work to your head. So that's something to consider um, on your bigger power cars uh, in case you didn't know that. So, you might notice um, there's no lope with those cams, right? Um, the reason that is is because this car is ABCS. So, it's going to basically retard or, or do what it needs to do to the cam uh, to change that profile so it's not going to lope. Um, you could probably tune lope in with ABCS, um, but there's, there's really no reason to it. Um, now, if I, we plugged ABCS, um, there would definitely be some lope to it, um, but for the most part, it sounds like it's completely stock. Um, now, on your older cars that don't have ABCS, the two liters, um, you'll definitely get a lot of lope out of those um, based on which cam you, you put in. Um, but uh, most STIs, um, they all have ABCS, at least single ABCS, and then uh, <clears throat> any WRX after 2008, has ABCS, and um, so you're you're gonna probably not get that loping effect unless you really want uh, your tuner to to do that. And most tuners will probably look at you like, oh, you're one of those kids, and uh, uh, probably not do it <laughs> because uh, it's kind of like uh, the, the burble tunes that are popular now. Um, you know, it's one of those things you can tune in, but there's really no benefit to it other than it sounds kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's that. And I hope you learned something or enjoyed something. So.